we're standing on the, the edge of one of the wetland areas at the Anasir RSPB Reserve and it's part of this very large ecosystem that runs all the way along the southern side of the Dubby here. We've um, wetted up the fields mainly for, particularly for the breeding waders, um, we're talking mainly of lapwings and red shank and you can see and hear lapwings in the background as, we, as I'm speaking now. And uh, what we've done here, the land's been transformed. It was at one time a very, um, very productive sheep rearing area with very um, tightly grazed, very green looking fertilised fields. Cleared out the ditches, we've opened them up, we've, we've raised the water level and we've removed all the fences. And what you can see now, we have a fairly unbroken view all the way down for a couple of miles all the way down the estuary. We're standing on the edge of Covered Koch, which is an area of uh, raised peat bog. And what we've done is to try and restore the bog to what it used to be like about 200 years ago. And it's been totally transformed. It used to be a, up to about 10 years ago, completely covered in Scots pines and rhododendrons. It's all been cleared out. And what we're also trying to do is open it up to the general public more, where you can hear in the background chainsaws, which are actually um, constructing, a, helping construct a boardwalk which links one vista path from another. We're um, looking at the Welsh Mountain ponies here. There's a dozen Section A pedigree Welsh Mountains and they're on loan to the RSBB from uh, an owner who lives up in North Wales. And they're doing an excellent job, as you can see here, keeping the vegetation very short. The beauty of using these Welsh mountain ponies is um, they're very selective in their feeding and they're not, they don't eat the plants that we want to become established on here, for example the heather. Oh,